It's just gone midday. I've got some very exciting and interesting news for you. And um, slightly breathless because it's, it has literally taken my breath away. Okay. There is a massive energy wave happening. It started sometime last night. Not too sure of the time. I felt there was something in the ether before I went to sleep. And when I woke up this morning, I felt very, very drowsy, almost like I was drugged. Quite an amazing experience. But once I got up, for some unknown reason, I just felt compelled to. I made two little live streams on Facebook because the birds and the bees were making such a, a, a cacophony of sound. It was just amazing. There was a lot of mist outside earlier on. And I thought, OK, we're coming towards Lunasa. What's happening here? And everything, ver everything felt very different, very strange, very almost sort of not quite alien, but just strange, you know, as though there was something happening or there was... Uh, I don't know, I was just picking up all this energy. And then I started clearing out in my kitchen. Now, so far I've filled three big black plastic sacks full of stuff for the charity shop. I've gone through all my cookery books in my kitchen. I've gone through the shelves. I've gone through, um, well, only just part of it. I mean, I'm clearing out masses. And then I sat down and had a cup of tea and I realised that there was something afoot, there was something happening. And I looked up, I looked up the date of the full moon, I thought okay, the full moon is on the 15th. Now I'm not, by any stretch of the imagination, an astrologer. I haven't got a clue on that. All I know is what I pick up with my senses. So I knew that the full moon was, I think, the 15th of August. And I'm very aware of Lunasa, because that's the next big Celtic festival. That is the start of what we call, in modern day terms, autumn. So the mist this morning was kind of quite significant of that. But once I'd looked at my chart, I seen that the new moon is happening on August 1st, which is actually Lunasa. So there's amazing, amazing energy around at the moment. Now, what I've done by being very physical this morning and clearing out and making the space, I've actually caught the energy wave. I've caught it, I've brought it down, I'm working with it. Now, if you're in um, the United States or Canada or South America, that energy wave is going to be hitting you sometime soon, if it hasn't already gotten there. It's a massive opportunity for change. A massive, massive opportunity. It seems as though everything is lined up perfectly. I feel as well that this is... This is part of something bigger than just change and energy and lunasa and a new moon. I mean, a new moon is always very significant because you can actually work with the new moon, you know, you can work with the energy as it rises and rises and rises towards that full moon. But the fact that it's happening at lunasa, um, there seems to be some kind of an alignment because it's not very often that the calendar, which is the man-made calendar, lines up with 
the ancient calendar, the Celtic calendar. So the fact that August the 1st is the new moon and is the day that we celebrate Lunasa is amazing. Of course, tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, whatever time that sun begins to set, that is the traditional beginning of Lunasa. So I just feel that there's something massive afoot. There's um, there's there's an awakening happening. There is a, a change of energy. Um, I feel that you should expect the unexpected. Um, I also feel that you should take the energy that's that's been almost like bestowed upon us and work with it. Look at all these beautiful little mushrooms. Another sign of Lunasa. You know, when those mushrooms start to come up, that's the change in the temperature, the change in the, the earth temperature. So it's very exciting and um, I'm feeling very energised and I feel as though I have to clear out lots and lots of space for this new energy to come in. Um, and I just wanted to put this out there. So I'm not going to go in for a long video. Um, I just want to put it out there and make sure that you're aware of it because because of all the stuff that I've been involved in, you know, with Kara's art exhibition and all the work involved in that, I have not been keeping check on everyday energy here at Bealtaine. And I think it was this morning, you know, making those little live streams and, and being out there, actually out with Mother Earth. Look, lots more mushrooms that I sensed that there was something happening. And um, as I began to work and clear, I thought, this is odd, you know, I've been, I've been threatening to do this for such a long time, you know, for quite a few years, clear all these books and shelves and bring things into some kind of order. Now, if my feeling is that I've got to clear and clean and prep and bring things into order, then that's in preparation for something else that's coming down the line. So... Blessings to you all. It's just a beautiful morning. I, I, f I, can, I can almost smell the very, very beginnings of early autumn in the air, which of course in itself is very exciting for me because um, the autumn is, is, is my birth season and it's the season that I always feel very inspired by. Hear all those birds, look. There's lots of food here for them. So I won't keep you any longer, but just be aware of this incredible energy. It's a, a very potent wave of energy. Um, try, to, try to grasp it. Try to pull it down to where you are and work with it. Go with the flow. Blessings to you all.